The GTA is under a special weather statement with a significant spring storm on the way. Well, joining us live now with more on what we can expect is Dave Phillips, senior climatologist with Environment Canada. Always great to chat with you. Uh, Dave, let's get right into it. Um, obviously, it's been a bit of a, it was a weird winter, and now we're officially into the spring season. Um, we're getting some showers, uh, but is this, uh, in terms of our rainfall amounts, how significant are we talking? Well, Jamie, it's just not April showers. I mean, this is a significant, it's uh, an event that uh, really started uh, uh, off the coast of California and the Pacific. It did a real uh, huge hit on California, and then it's come across the uh, moved eastward, it's been sort of re-energized of Colorado. So it's a Colorado low that is bringing a lot of weather misery to the United States. And we're going to feel the effects of it here in, uh, in, in Ontario and, and Quebec. Um, it's a lot of uncertainty, Jamie, with the system in terms of exactly the path that it takes and also the trans, uh, you know, the sort of the transition between the rain and possible snow. It was looking like more of a snow event uh, uh, later on, and certainly in some areas and higher elevations, and, and maybe in eastern Ontario and Quebec, it probably will be predominantly a snow event. But for the GTA, it looks primarily as a rain event. In fact, it's already started raining in Windsor and, and Chatham. I think even Hamilton's had some rain. And of course, the winds have also picked up. There's going to be a lot of wind mm -hmm. with this particular system of 60, maybe gusting up to 70, 80 kilometers per hour. So we're going to see, I think by, by noon, it'll start raining in the Toronto area and there'll be rain during the day. And uh, so we might see, for example, maybe five to 10 millimeters today, uh, more, more heavy rain tonight. And so we could end up with 10 to 20 and maybe even the chance of a thunderstorm. And when that thunderstorm occurs, you're going to have more, more rain. And then tomorrow, Jamie, it's like an all day event. I mean, it's going to pick up maybe around noon and again, more precipitation, 10 to 20. So in total, this over two days, we could see anywhere from 25 to 50 millimeters of rain. I mean, that's clearly more than uh, about a half a month of April precipitation in just uh, a couple of days. There's also, as they say, some wet snow possible. And that's where a lot of the uncertainty is. If the temperatures stay, they're going to be at today always above freezing. And so it's just going to be a rain event. But tomorrow, as the temperatures fall closer to that, that sweet zone around zero, well, then there could be some snow in higher elevations and in some, some areas away from the GTA. But if the snow comes, Jamie, it won't be a huge amount. It's not rare for, for April. My gosh, you know, Jamie, in 85 years, there's only been two Aprils without snow. So getting a little bit of the white stuff at the beginning part of the month is not, not uh, uh, uncommon at all. And uh, so three or four days of, of kind of uh, foul weather, Jamie, and then look at the four weekend. It looks beautiful. And that Monday, I see lots of sunshine and warm temperatures for the eclipse. And then we see for the rest of the month, hey, warm temperatures. So this might be winter's last hurrah. Mm -hmm. Or and if there is some snow, there'll be some in elevated areas and principally away from the GTA. And Jamie, if you do get the white stuff, my gosh, what nature giveth, it'll taketh away. It'll be, it'll be gone by the, uh, by the weekend, and, hey, it, uh, it won't. Uh, and with the wet ground and the warm ground, hey, a lot of that wet snow will just melt on contact. A little bit of a short-term pain for the long-term gain. In terms exactly, of the, the, uh, the rest of the outlook for April, are we getting back towards seasonal temps? So what are you seeing on your end? Well, Jamie, even better than that. I mean, seasonal temps at this time of the year, would be a high of maybe eight or nine, low of about one. We're going to see on the weekend, we're going to see temperatures up to maybe 11, 12 degrees. And as we go into April, uh, April can be kind of a, a cruel month. You can get that kind of play between winter wants to hold on and spring wants to get a foothold. But it looks like clearly spring is going to be uh, uh, the winter here. And we see temperatures throughout April. Now, I mean, would I start putting uh, plant in my garden? No, I wouldn't. I mean, you want to you want to kind of leave that to maybe early May. But my sense is, you can go to visit the garden center, get that strategy about what you want to buy, and then be ready to to sort of get in the muck there in the backyard or in the garden and and plant. So, Jamie, it's looking good. You're right. It's a little bit of pain right now, but hey, it's all looking positive in the future. Particularly that Monday, I'm really excited. This is the first time we've. We've sort of have a, a glimpse of what uh, Monday eclipse day is going to be. And I see lots of sunshine there. So it may be very and warm temperatures. So I think it'll be a, 
uh, a reward for this bit of misery that we've had to deal with this week. Well, Dave, one of your talents is uh, making some bad news sound not so bad. <laughs> oh, Dave Phillips with Environment Canada, we appreciate your time and the outlooks as always. Thank you so much.